right? We got a pretty weird one here. Um, basically what I want to do is I want to get an input from the user and I want to make a, uh, a box that big. So if they give me four, this is what I want to print out. X, 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 X. It actually shouldn't be so bad of a problem, but I'm gonna add another wrinkle onto it, that if I want that box um, to print out, I also want it to be surrounded by circles. So there's gonna be a little space here, and then a circle, space, then a circle, space, circle, space, circle. Um, and to add to my difficulty, what I wanna do is I wanna have this entire bottom one be circles. So one circle in this space uh, column, and then one circle to kind of uh, fill in the rest of that, um, that one. So, kind of hamstring myself. That's a that, that, you know going to be a little bit of a little bit of a tricky task. So, what we do with the tricky task, we got to break it up into little parts so we can uh, uh, more easily digest. So, if I take a look at this, I'm looking for patterns anywhere I can see them. And the first thing that I notice is that this row basically just gets repeated four times. Oh boy, basically it gets repeated four times. And this row is kind of the odd one out. So when I see repetition, this is gonna be a loop. And how many times am I gonna run this loop? Well, they gave me an input of four to make a four by four box, and it looks like the loop should run four times because it, it prints out four times. This time, this is only gonna print one time. So if you only do something one time, that shouldn't be in a loop. So let's start off with what we know, um, and we may have to come back to this um, in a little bit, okay? Let's roll here. So the first thing is, uh, I just created a, a Python document, square.py, make sure you're saving all that stuff inside the lectures folder. Um, okay. Because it's a square, I really only need one input, right? I don't need to tell them that it's three length and like a three width. Um, I can just get the length, and that'll also be the height, right? So I'm gonna, it's going to be the integer input of what um, height and width. What height and width would you like? All right. So once I've got that and I close up both sets of parentheses, I'm going to start a loop. So I want to run this a certain amount of times. Now, if you remember back from the previous thing, um, if I want a three by three loop, I want it to run one, two, three times. If it's a five by five, one, two, three, four, five amount of times. So I just got the length from the user, so I want to run this thing length amount of times. It's probably a good idea to each time text your code. So I'm just gonna print a simple message, hi, to make sure it works. So if I say five, I want that to print out five times. One, two, three, four, five. Tight. I don't want to print high though. I want to print those X's. So there's my X. Now, how many times do I want to print that? Well, because it's a square, I want it, um, and I want it to go five times. I also want it to go over five times. So I want to multiply this by length. So it's a pretty good start to the program right now. Let's give it a test. Like I said, we should be testing our program quite a bit. So if I say five, Right away, I've got a five by five, and that's looking pretty nice. Now what I want to do is I want to attach those little O's on the end. So it may be, you know, this would be my first intuition if I was you. Um, just after I print all those X's, let's just print out an O. But watch what happens when we do this. Um, what height and width would you like? Let's say six. It gives me that line of six of them, and then goes to a new line to print the O, then six, and then a new line. Like, I wish I could just drag all those O's and just say, just print all on the same line. The good news is there's a way to do that. Backspace. Inside this print command, I can put a little comma, and I can put O in there. What that's saying is, I'm gonna print the length, and then I'm not done on that line yet. That comma means not quite done. Um, and then it's gonna print an O. So watch how that works. So if I say seven, now I've got that line of O's one space over every single time. Um, I can do this many times as I want. Like I can say gnarly as well. And it'll just attach gnarly on the end of that. So if I say six, it'll say gnarly each time. 
I don't want gnarly in this one. I just want the O. So I have all of that part done. The only thing I need to do now is, you know, this first part is all completed, that loop part. Now I just need to get this one weird row. Um, I'm just going to kind of half do it right now. Um, and if I have this, watch what happens if I just say, I'm not going to worry about how many do. If I just say, uh, oh, 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 watch how many times that thing runs, right? Because it could be a part of your, you know, your thought process is like, okay, just put that underneath it. But watch what happens. If I say I want three, it prints it off three times, right? Um, that's because this is included in the loop. So if I say seven, it's also going to print this seven times, but I only wanted to print one time. So the question is, how do I get out of a loop? Um, you dedent. Um, dedent is a fancy way of saying the opposite of indent, or I guess just go left. Um, everything that's indented will be part of the loop. And you can see this little arm thing that goes down like this. That says that the, this loop is only two lines long. If I tab this back over, see how that extends? Now this loop runs for every single one of these lines, right? So even if I put it down that far, if I say six, it'll run that many times down. So my answer is I need to dedent this thing. What height and width would you like? Five. Okay. Now you notice that five overshoots it. Um, if I did like two, well, that bottom row really overshoots it. So really what I want to do is I want to print this O a certain amount of times. So let's think about how many times um, I want to print that. I go back to my drawing, drawing here. For a four loop, um, a, a, a four by four square, how many did there have to be? There had to be one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Right. One extra one to fill in the space, one extra one to account for like this vertical wall, right? So it seems like I need to do like a plus two. So if I look at this, um, if I go back to my, my code, I want to print O. If I was just to do it length amount of times, watch what happens. If I say five, it's going to cover up and do that five. But like I said before, I'm going to need to get two more there to, uh, to kind of finish the square. So if I do plus two, watch what happens. This is going to be an error. I guarantee it. If I say five, it's going to give me an issue. This line right here, O times length plus two. You gotta remember it's gonna follow order of operations. So first it's gonna do the multiplication. So it's gonna write out O length amount of times, and then it's gonna try to add two to it. So the letter O, 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 O plus two, it doesn't know what the heck that means. Does that mean O plus two would be like L, M, N, O, P, Q is like O plus two Q? Um, it doesn't know that it's dealing with numbers. Anyway, so it's confusing itself. Um, and I'm confusing the process. If I put a little parenthesis around that, now what it's saying to do is take whatever the length was, add two to it. So in this case, if it was four by four, add two to it, suddenly that's six. Um, and now it's gonna print, oh, six amount of times. Pretty sure this will work now, if everything goes right. Eight. And it does. Um, we could also print off a, um, a blank X, uh, a blank row underneath there if we wanted to create that um, a little bit further. So we could print a blank line, which I want to dedent. Watch what that blank line is going to do. The way to print a blank line is just going like that. So now I have that blank line. So I can create like a little moat between the, um, the X's and O's. So I'm going to have to add a little O there because I don't want like a little gate in my O's. Um, so let's take a look at how I'm going to do that. Basically what I want to do um, to do that, I need to go back to the drawing board here real quick. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. If I get three for an input, right now what's printing off is X, 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 three by three X's. And I'm going to draw little spaces underneath here. So a space will just be like that, and then there's an O. There's a space and an O, a space and an O. And now I have a blank line and an O. 
and then I have an O, 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 O. Okay. So what I want to do to create this moat is I need to have this print, and then I need to affix an O on the end of it. So the question is, how many spaces do I have to have? If it's a three by three, I need one for every single X above it, and then just one additional. So if I look back at my code, what I want to do is I want to print a blank space, which is just like that, and I want to do that length amount of times plus one. Well, same thing applies, length amount of times plus one, like this, and then I want to add on and O. Oh. Shucks. I didn't account for something and it's gonna not be great. See how it's one off? I was a great fool. Um, when you run it like this, um, with this comma, it automatically adds one space in there for us, so our job is done. We just want blanks for that entire row, um, and then I want to put an O on the end of it. So, what height and width would you like? Five. And now I have it completely, uh, completely encompassed, um, encircled, if you will. All right, later.